Like it's the most two common plugs you'll find in the UK. So first we've got the older plastic plug, which is my favourite of, of UK plug. I really wish they still made these. And the new rubber plug. So we'll start with, with the rubber plug. Okay, so one thing I don't like about rubber plugs today is most of them have plastic earth terminals. Look at, look at the prong on the earth term. Look at the earth prong. See, it's made of plastic. Well, uh, my um, connected, so when I was finishing up the video of my connected 16 phase fan, and when I unplugged it from the extent from the cable wheel, the earth terminal broke off and I had to go and buy a plastic plug to put on the connected. I'm, I'm, I much prefer, if I had to like rubber plugs, I much like the, um, the rubber plugs with, uh, uh metal earth terminals, because not, not only are they a lot better built, but, yeah, I like, I like metal earth terminals. So, yeah. Because, yes, like I said before, although the earth terminal does not do anything, I still don't, I, still, I cannot run my connected 6 inch pedal fan now because the plug is broken. Two, if these plugs actually get hot enough, these plugs can actually melt. So, yeah. These plugs can actually melt in hot heat. So, say for example, it was like a really hot day. And it was a plug in your socket. These plugs, these plugs can actually melt, which is absolutely shocking. Because if you put a plastic plug in an exposed area, it it will it will not melt at all. It will stay in one piece. This plastic plug has been used a lot, and it's still in one piece. And also, bubble plugs scratch really easily. So yeah, because look, see how it's all scratched up there? I mean, this fan has been sitting in the garage for a few years and the fan still works fine. I mean, it does not affect the performance, just the plug is all scratched up now. It makes the plug look ugly. Look, see how it's got loads of scratching? I do not like that at all. So yeah, one thing one thing I do like about rubber plugs though, rubber, rubber pulverized plugs is what they're actually called. Actually called pulverized plugs. One thing I like, one thing I like about them is that you can take the fuse out really easily. All you have to do is get like a a flat screwdriver and take the fuse out. So yeah. It's so easy to put a fuse in these rubber plugs. I really like rubber plugs for that re That's one thing I really like about rubber plugs that I wish plastic plugs had. So, yeah. Also, finally, thing number four is that um, rubber plugs tend to have a lot thinner wire. Look how thin the wire is on this. See? It's like paper thin. Plastic plugs have much thicker wire. Now we're going on to the plastic plug. I really like plastic plugs, guys. I really do. Plastic plugs are, in my opinion, the best UK plugs you can get. I mean, I mean, some, some fans of today and some appliances of today still have, um, still have plastic plugs, like my Dealberry and my Scotland. Both have plastic plugs. And this is the reason why I like them. One, they are really well built and they don't melt in hot sunlight, in hot, hot heat. Two, 
two. Actually, one thing here. It's on, it's on part one at the moment, anyway. These plugs can be abused and they still work fine. These plugs can break though, however, because I've used them plugs crack. Two, most, if not all, um, plastic plugs have metal earth terminals. As you can see on this 2004 Jewel Craft Giant Suspendia, it has all metal. All of the prongs are metal, which I like because it makes the plug feel a lot better quality. And although these do wiggle a little bit, as you can see, this, this, rubber plug, this plastic plug, I mean, still feels a lot better quality. Oh, and one, uh, and one other thing. Go back, we're going back onto the rubber plug again. Rubber plugs, you cannot remove them easily. In fact, you cannot remove them unless you cut the plug off. Because what you have to do is you have to cut about here with, let's cut the plug off. And. It makes these plugs a real, pl real, real plane to replace. So you have to cut this off with a scissors or something like that. Two, you have to... You then have to, like, get some wire, strip wire strippers, which some people may not have. And... If you don't have wire strippers, you cannot replace the plug. So yeah, three. Then you have to wipe. Then you have to wipe the new plug. So yeah, this can be a real pain to replace the plug on my connectors. I'll tell you that for a fact, guys. Anyway, back onto the rubber plug. You can you can remove this plug easily. All you have to do, which pretty much everyone has. Everyone has a Phillips head screwdriver. Well, most people do. And all plastic plugs are designed in this way. They have like a few screws, a few Phillips head screws. You unscrew these these three Phillips head screws. This one, this one has three Phillips head screws. I know some plastic plugs do, do not have screws and some do. This one does have screws. Most Pretty much most of them have screws. And basically, what you have to do, basically, all you have to do is just unscrew this, these three Phillips head screws. This one's got, like I said, this one's got three Phillips head screws. And and voila! And you just got to, um, Plug the past like this, which this plug is not unscrewed, so I can't take it apart. But then what you can do is you can just wipe with the new plug easily. Voila, the plug comes apart. I love plastic plugs for that reason. They are so easy. It is so easy to replace the plug. It is so easy to replace a plug plastic plug so yeah when my 2004 Jewcraft needs its plug replaced I'll have no problem putting the new plug on I love plastic I love plastic plugs for this reason I wish I wish all appliances used plastic plugs because plastic plugs they actually last and also look how easy it goes in the socket here This is my 1971 extension, it's very old. And it goes in nice and easily. Also, it's very easy, or well, most of the time very easy to get out. However, with the rubber plug, it is quite hard to get out. So yeah. 
I know there's a lot more pros and cons about each plug. About these two plugs here. But I was going over some of them. So you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my rant on rubber plugs. Oops. Because... If you, have, if you have been subscribed to my channel for a long time now, you will know I, I've i always liked plastic plugs. Uh, over rubber plugs. So yes, guys, this is just a little rant on these two. A rant on uh, rubber plugs, which I wish all plugs had plastic plugs. I wish they still made plastic more plastic plugs i mean this, i mean plastic plugs are still made but they're not as common common anymore sadly like i said plastic plugs can melt the earth thing can break off that's pretty much it and also the earth and also the fuses eat through me which I, that's the one thing i like and the plugs are easy to and the um and and also the rubber plugs are prone to scratching plastic plugs and also another thing they are hard to remove plastic plugs they can they are easy to remove they feel solidly built they don't melt in hot heat and they just feel a lot more solid in general so yeah So which plugs do I prefer? You probably already know. I prefer plastic plugs. So yeah. And also another thing about the plastic plug. Look how thick the wire is. I mean this wire is like really good quality wire. The wire is so nice on these plastic plugs. Anyway, yeah, I despise plastic plugs. I despise rubber plugs, I mean. I despise them. I only like the ones with the metal earth terminal. The earth, metal earth prong. So, yeah. So, the most, most, most two common plugs in the UK, the plastic plug and the, rubber, and the newer rubber plug. I mean, and plastic plugs have been around for a long, long time, probably since the 1930s, since electricity first came out. Let me, I think plastic plugs came out in the 2000s, I believe. But these plugs have been around for a lot longer, they are. Uh, electricians like them a lot better than the rubber plugs. And they are a lot better quality, so yeah. If you're considering about getting an appliance, I highly recommend you get an appliance with a plastic plug. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.